Okay, got it. All right, yeah, hey, let me put mute participants when they come in. Oh, yeah. Folks come in shouting. <laughs> no, you cannot unmute yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right, guys, we got to get started. Mm hmm. What's up, family? I see people tuning in left and right. This is yep. awesome. I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, oh, I'm about to uh, post that on Instagram too. Let me minimize this. Where is that? There it goes. Hallelujah. Let me close the waiting room. Oh, I have to. But hallelujah. Amen, amen. Bingo. Let's there see. Yeah, we are live streaming men and women of God. Yes, we are live. We are live. We are live. Hallelujah. Okay. This is the uh, podcast 2.0, y'all. And uh I don't know why the Lord decided to put 2.0 on it. I, I think <laughs> I, I, I think we're coming into another season. You know, we see many. I think actually we've come into a thing where everybody knows if I watch this video, it could be edited. I can put a monster in the sky. You know what I mean? And everyone think it's real. And I make money off of a fake video. Absolutely. Um, so podcasts are becoming very real and raw because people want to see that. But, uh, also, I, I'm starting to believe, Maurice, that um, I believe the Lord told us 2.0 because we're, we're going to be doing this podcast way differently than you, you've seen normally on other podcasts where you don't see anyone getting healed or delivered. You just see t two men of God arguing and debating about a verse um, th that is opposite of what their doctrine exactly. believes. So this podcast is going to be 2.0. It's going to be different from everything that we've seen. Amen. Amen. I think it's much needed, you know, because like if we're not careful inside of the body of Christ, like we could be blinded by the device of, of, of Satan. You know, the word of God tells us not to be blinded by the devices of Satan. And unfortunately, even though some of these guys like they start a podcast and they they might have the right intentions, but they are end up listening. I believe they end up listening to the wrong spirit sometime and not testing stuff before they actually do it. And it starts to create a riff a division amongst the body of Christ. Cause sometimes like, you know, we, we all know that we could agree to disagree on stuff, but some stuff is like kind of meant to be spoken about behind closed doors to show, to further show unity, you know, to the body of Christ. Like you on, you on camera cussing your brother, a sister in Christ out, son of him and all of that type of stuff. And it makes me cringe sometimes. Cause it's just like, what about the babes in Christ? You know, the ones that's kind of seasoned, they're just like, okay, the brother's just kind of having a day. But the, the people babes, that are still drinking the milk. Yeah. Yes. Yes. How you feel about that, bro? Yeah, that's that's it's very Ed, man, that's dangerous and, and shaky ground. Cause if you think about that, if I've been a, let's say I, I'm I'm a Christian for just simply I just gave my life to Christ two weeks. I'm I'm fresh out of it. I don't have the desire to do the things I was doing anymore, but then this guy that I, I that actually brought me to Christ, this guy I've been watching on YouTube, for instance, I see him going live with all these other people. You're know what I'm thinking about. Um, I see him go live <laughs> with these people, and all of a sudden they're debating and debating. I'm like, do I really want to be a part of a faith where they can't even agree with each other? You know right. what I mean? Um, I, I'm I shoot, I, I'm here. I just gave my life to Christ, and I've been learning about demons. I have demons, but no one's talking about how to get rid of them. You're over here arguing about. Who's baptized and who's not? Who prays in tongues? Who isn't? What's the point? So yeah, so we got to be careful with these podcasts with people that are watching that are drinking the milk. When all of it's none, it's not a salvation issue. That's a whole different story. What do you think about that? So we can have like Peter and Paul. You know, they talked about exactly. salvation means those are different things. What do you think about that? Exactly, I, I I completely agree with you, man. Like, why should we go to war over issues that's not salvation issues? You know, why should we go to war, period? You know, the word of God says, 
knock the dust off your feet and, and move on to the next town if they don't accept you. And mm-hmm. that goes for your, your 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 brothers and sisters in Christ too. Sometimes you have a brother say, hey, I feel like it should be this way. And all right, bro, that's how you feel. I'm just going to pray that the, that the Lord shows you, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm going to pray that the Lord brings clarity. And if I'm wrong, I want to pray that the Lord shows me. Yes. What well, Today we just today i'm just not seeing it or you're just not seeing it mm. but let's not battle let's not let's let's not go against each other because that's just especially i just want to make another point too for the ones that's on melt for for the babes in christ they might be dealing with like the spirit of rejection and division and stuff of that nature so i feel like that kind of feeds yes that to people and, and 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 that's thing you know they're looking they're looking at their brothers and sisters mm. in christ they're not respecting their leaders their church leaders and stuff and and they they thinking this, this is the christian culture this is how it's supposed to be and um it's just unfortunate man because it's so much stuff watch this it's so much stuff we can agree upon but yet we try to find the mm. little two, maybe three things in the Bible that people don't agree about, you know, yep. and it just yep. it creates this real thing. It's just horrible, man. It's just horrible. Guys, drop fire emojis if this is, is yes. blessing yes. you right drop now. Em. Drop them. We ain't even started yet. And <laughs> I, I, see, I, I believe, see, like I tell this to everybody, we don't really know why the Lord does certain things. So I have no clue why the Lord laid on my heart about six months ago to do um warrior wednesdays i'm pretty sure maurice okay. didn't know what the lord was putting on his heart to just randomly go live during this time and that time uh, i Absolutely. believe this is why is he was raising us up not only to be comfortable in front of a camera but yes. also how to be men and women of god in front of the camera to be to use the integrity and the love that we have for god's people and so those that are just coming in we want to welcome you guys to podcast 2.0 Amen. And we talked a little bit why we're calling it 2.0 and everything, but also we do, we're not coming on here with an, an agenda. Well, you right. know, we're not we're not coming on here with premeditated notes that we discussed before. We want to come on here and let the Holy Spirit do what the Holy Spirit does best. Yes. We want him to touch lives and see people set free and come to him closer and closer. So if you're here for that, amen. But if you're here to just see two two brothers in, in, in Christ argue about salvation or blah, 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 then this is the wrong podcast for you because we yeah. want to see people set free. We want to see Jesus Christ glorified. And this is the place where you're going to find that and grow and be equipped. Amen. And, and I just want to add to that, Josiah. You know, I just seen in the spirit and this is going to sound so funny, but I really feel that the because like you said, man, like we didn't we didn't know the reasons why we just being obedient to the Holy Ghost. And sometimes it's like, that's the best way. Like, it's like the Holy Ghost just say, do this. The Holy Spirit says, do this. And then it ends up becoming something huge because of the obedience. What I just seen in my spirit, bro, <laughs> it's kind of like Sid Roth, but it's like in a, a newer way. You know what I'm saying? You, you see how Sid Roth, Sid Roth is huge, right? Influence rise, but he didn't have to tear down nobody. Sid Roth is bigger than any podcast on the internet right now, any Christian podcast right now, influence rise. He's got more leverage, more years and all of that. And he just kept it within, within the culture of the Holy spirit. So I think he's, I think God is, is starting to stir uh, men and women like, like me and you Mm. like ourselves. And I just believe it's just gonna, just from our obedience, of just saying, yeah, let's just float the Holy Ghost, you know, and just let's just see what the Holy Ghost has for us. And not just for us, but for the people that's in the studio right now. I think people are just going to be blessed, just like people mm-hmm. within the studio or see it rough. You know, if you have to see it rough experience in the studio, it's a blessing. Yes. So I just I just feel like God looked over and seen two young guys and say, hey, let me sprinkle a little a little bit of this see it roughness mm. on them. And just let's just see where it uh, goes. Hey, yeah, I received some of that mantle. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, because and yeah, and if you guys notice, you might see us two on here, but we do. We plan to collab and invite other people on, like Evangelist, a uh, uh, Mark John, and and Malaya Absolutely. Diggs, and Flavi Barbosa. And you know, me and me and Prophet Maurice were pretty close to Daniel. We'll pick his ears too. Say, hey, you know, let's hop on here and come on the podcast. We'll pick your brain. So it's just going to be very influential to to see the Lord move in a different way because the Lord's taken over the internet. He's, he, he's tired of 99% of the internet being nothing but pornography. If you didn't know, yes. that's a statistic. He's oh tired God. of it. 
So yes. it, if, if this helps the men and women of God be pulled away from the world just for an hour, hour and a half, then let it be so. That's so good. Like, just like you just said, like, we got to we got to start back, like, taking claim on West hours. You know, mm. like, I'm so sick of people saying uh, and it's a true statement, but I'm tired of hearing it when people say, oh, man, you know, the devil runs the radio, the devil runs uh, the entertainment world and TV okay, well, what are we going to do? You know, the devil runs the internet. What are Hmm. we going to do? Are we going to sit back and continue to say that the devil runs it? Yeah. Or are we going to take the authority over things? You know, it's just like, this is kind of off subject, but on subject. But it's kind of like when you see people, you see some Christians, like they want to argue about holidays and stuff of that nature, right? Oh man, you're doing this and you're doing that. I'm just like, well, how about this? How about this, right? How about I have the authority of all the power of Satan? Yeah. So let's say that this particular holiday, I'm not going to name no holidays, <laughs> but let's just say if this particular holiday is a complete satanic day, well, I have the authority to take over that day and make mm-hmm. that day what I want it to be for Christ, right? Yeah. It's just like a, a analogy. It's kind of like a, a drug dealer that drives a car. And the next thing you know, he gets caught up by the police. And then the police takes that Carvette and makes it into a sheriff car. Mm-hmm. And it's a Carvette, yeah. but he they, they took it. They took authority over that. They arrested yeah. that person and took authority. That's and now good. they're doing it. You see what I'm saying? But people are so... It's like Christian, Christian narrow mindedness. <laughs> we can talk about that. Let's talk about the idea of Christmas. Um, yeah. Coming into this, uh, I, I, I flipped and flopped a little bit since being in, in deliverance about christmas and stuff and i I do believe there's certain things that i personally believe stay away from such as yeah i'll celebrate christmas with my family because i'm lifting up the name of jesus and who am i to say when a lot of people around the world even if it's just one day a year they're lifting up the name of jesus so amen you know what i mean but i'm not gonna i told my wife we agreed we're not gonna put a christmas tree up because we know what it signifies you know what i mean Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. And so, but we're still going to celebrate the birth of our Christ. We do it every single day, but let's not celebrate it with the world for one mm-hmm. day of the year if if we have to, you know what I mean? And, and but there is holidays that I know to stay away from completely, such as um in October Halloween. I'm not going to participate in any of that at all right. because I know what comes to it. Now, if we want to, hey, hey, we have the church. Let's have a prayer meeting. We're not going to have a fall festival where, hey, let the kids wear their costumes. You no, you're still being a part of the world. You're still being in the world. You're still being a, 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 a part of the, the society and what let's just dress up. We're going to do it at church and it's OK. No, it's not. It's not. We have to show our kids a different way, such as when I have kids, I'm prophesying here. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna I'm gonna be straight up. There is no Easter bunny, there is no Santa. The Lord God blessed blessed us in order to provide for you. I'm not gonna be telling him that. That's just my That's heart good. because it's a form of lying, you know. Yeah. So imagine yeah. lying to your kids for let's like, say 12 years, and then you see the destruction on their face when they realize the big man in the red suit isn't real. That's no, so, hey, so just to I stay away. Of, let's avoid all that, you know what I mean. <laughs> That's so that's so true. Like, I just say I agree with you on your stance on that. I just say, man, just be led by the Holy Spirit, number one. Mm-hmm. And, and, and number two, just like you said, like, it's like, man, this one day that we can glorify Jesus mm-hmm. and not be censored to glorify Jesus. Yes. And yeah. it's like, man, I'm going to take full. I, well, we glorify Jesus every day. We know that. But I'm just saying far as from a political stance, you know, from a, a man s stance yeah. like you could actually say this is for jesus amen um <clears throat> it's like man i want to i want to do that and then I'm, I'm i'm with you on that it's like hey i want to just get together and eat good and yeah. fellowship with, with <laughs> the family or the church family or wherever the case may be and just rejoice in jesus and just enjoy that time you know and we should be cheerful givers every day, every mm-hmm. week. <clears throat> but if we want to take one day and just give a little bit more, okay, cool. That's cool. But just it's really just keeping the culture, you know? Yeah. Now, as far as for Halloween, oh no, that's that's just <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. We, no, we no, know no, no, no. we know that when, when a witch comes out of that and says, Hey, we do this at this time, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm gonna stay away from it, period. Yes. You know, but like I said, <laughs> just like Christmas, we can take a holiday and make something glorify Christ in it. Right. And that's all the devil does. He's just trying to twist the joy that God gives us. And yes. 
he perverts see the devil is a created being he's not a creator God mm. is the creator. Mm. So God creates stuff and the devil comes and counter attacks everything. It's just like in boxing. It's like you have some fighters that got their own style and you got some fighters that, that will build off of your style. Yeah, They will counter attack everything that you throw, you that's know, good. everything that you, so it's frustrating, you know, and that's kind of how Satan is. He tries to counter attack that everything that we do, he, he has to try to have something else for it. That's so, a good analogy. So that's, yeah, yeah, so that's, man, so it's, so I just, I always tell people, like our Apostle Daniel say, just follow the convictions of the Holy Spirit, but Halloween, is it should just be so many red flags on the plate mm-hmm. right there. And like you say, if you want to get together with the church, and I would say get together with the church and do like a prayer meet yeah. to come against the demonic forces, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Make it a holiday. Let's take authority over Halloween and make it a holiday where we come against the darkness that's good. you know like something like that but like you said not no fall festival and all that mm. type of stuff because it's kind of like you're 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 coexisting with it you're yeah getting along exactly with it. you're exactly. navigating with it you know what i mean that's like, good so so i agree with you on that bro amen now before we go any further i want to say if, if you're watching this wherever you're watching on facebook or you're part of the, the audience here just please go ahead and share it if you're Amen. in the audience, you you know, if you click like this link, green little, uh, there's an option to share on here. Just copy the link, share it, say, hey, join, 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 join. Amen. If you're on Facebook, share it to your page. Let them know because this is going to be something big. Um, Like we talked about, Maurice says his lives when the mm-hmm. Lord leads him. I had Warrior Wednesdays. We didn't know why the Lord was doing that. It, w- it was for something bigger and something yes. greater. Um, Amen. So. Let's share, share, share. Amen. Um, yeah, hit hit that share button, guys. When you do that, you're you're actually being evangelist. I hope mm-hmm. you guys know that you're, you're being what you call <clears throat> internet evangelist, and um, it's gonna it's so, it's gonna be so many seeds being being sown. So mm-hmm. you guys are a part of that. So definitely hit that share button and get it out there Amen. into wherever Facebook universe, Instagram universe, wherever you're sharing it, it but get it out there and um. I believe a lot of people just it's gonna be awesome. That's yeah, all I can say. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm live on Instagram as well. Someone said the link didn't work. Well, um, if you go to my my bio on my Instagram page, you, you can mm-hmm. see there's my Facebook page, and we're live on there. You can watch on there as well. Amen. But um, Maurice, I, I want to talk about mm-hmm. th- this year. Like, what what is about to happen this year? that uh we have yet to see and so a lot of y'all saw the title of the reformation 2.0 so our our the name of the podcast is 2.0 and i believe me and maurice are going to talk about it is the lord's going to put something different on our hearts every week and this week is just the reformation and you know in the many you're like oh no i've heard of the reformation i learned about in high school blah 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 blah, blah. but that during the reformation that was the time when the church moved away from the catholic slash uh, Latin so. version of Christianity, the the political holding of, if you want freedom, if uh, if you want your sins forgiven, you have to come to me to do it. No, the church broke away from that, and we saw a mighty spark and and revival in the church. And so I believe Maurice that we're coming into a season, starting with this podcast of the Reformation 2.0, that um we're gonna see people come to Christ in the next few years like never before like it's going to be a steamroll effect where um one person comes to christ and they bring their friend both of them are getting coming to christ it's not just going to be one of them for instance in, in my hub today um i ministered to a person who came uh to the revival uh, to the tent revival sunday um mm-hmm. and nothing i did of course it was jesus but then a per- lady in my hub her she said well through the process, uh, my my daughter's husband gave his life to Christ. Wow. You know what I mean? But not only that, she, um, the daughter rededicated and the two kids gave their life to Christ. I'm like, whoa. So whole households in this new season of walking with the Lord are going to be coming to Christ in a mighty different way that we've never seen before. And let's like the great awakening. Yes. A, a few million people gave yes. their life to Christ. So just a few million. <laughs> what about the billions? I believe we're we're coming into a, a time where we're at where I know 35% of the world claims to be Christian, but if you're honest, probably a good two, three hundred million million in that billion actually operate as real Christians do. Um, 
So I believe we're coming into a time where the church is going to be so awakened where I, I don't think it's going to salvation is going to come, Maurice, but I think it's going to be more rededications to Christ. Yeah. Yeah, where many people that thought they were Christians are actually going to be like, wow, I actually never was a Christian. And we're going to see a mighty, mighty move happen where deliverance has already broken out. But then th this is the year of the prophetic where yes. many, many people that are having dreams and visions and don't know what's going on. The prophets are about to arise in this new season. And the Reformation point two is about is about the so spot on. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, it, it's you're about so, to be so crazy. in the spirit. <laughs> you're so in the Hallelujah. spirit. <laughs> You're so in the spirit, man of God. That's exactly what the Lord's been sharing with me for the past uh last couple of months, actually. Uh he started sharing with me some of the things to come actually in the month of November. And um he's continuously sh mm. sharing with me. Um just just a couple of days ago, I heard the Lord voice, and the Lord says, My glory is in the assemble. Mm. Um, so he's rising a assembly, you know, and he's 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 um even with, and listen, guys, this is completely prophetic because I was lost at first about this until the Lord showed me a couple, maybe, maybe November-ish, I say November-ish, um, it was some videos that was uh, going viral of sheep that was circling, oh, yes. it was walking in circles, right? So I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, Holy Spirit, what does this mean? What is this, right? And the Holy Spirit says that represents the unity that's coming within mm, the body of Christ. So my sheep good. is finally hearing my voice. They're hearing my voice. My sheep knows my voice. And it represents the unity. When you think of circle, it's a union. That's why you yes. have a wedding ring. It's Amen. a wedding band. So it's unity. It's not, <clears throat> it's mm. not broken. A that's circle so is not, you see what I'm saying? So the circle that's is so not good. broken. So with that being said, as you said, it's the rise of deliverance lifestyle right it's a mm -hmm. lifestyle now it's not gonna go it's not gonna go away and then the prophets is starting to be raised up in this hour because the holy spirit shared this with me and the holy spirit says that i'm coming back for a spotless bride mm. and then he gave me an analogy and he said look at this wall how do you know it's spotless because you can see mm. So I'm rising my seers, my oracles. Yeah. I'm rise. I'm 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 lifting the real, true prophets, the tested prophets, the purified prophets, the ones that's about holiness, not the ones that's just run into the microphone, right? The ones that ran to the altar before they ran to the microphone. Mm. So pur purity so is good. purity is key, right? So out of that purity, it's going to come the voice of God like none before. And it's direction. It's just direction completely from God on how to get the bride completely spotless before the before the yeah. arrival of the Messiah. So you you completely and deliverance is the same thing, right? Yeah. Like deliverance well, it, is, the, is the a, If you actually study, there's a short message I saw. There's a difference when the the Bible says I'm coming back for a pure and spotless bride. That's two different things, right? Now. We can be one or the other, or we can be neither, or we can be both. But he said, I'm coming back for pure and. Oof. So on, pure man. just simply means um, I'm righteous. I'm at right yes. standing with God. Living righteous. Right, right. But right. spotless means I'm sinless. I'm yes. sinless. Now, we <laughs> cannot be sinless, right? Right, 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 right. So if you claim to be a Christian, yet you do not identify that you are a sinless creation, you're going to get left behind. Yes. <laughs> you're going to get left yes. behind. You could be at yes. right standing with God. You can know, okay, I, I'm a follower of Christ. Amen. That means you're at right standing in God's eyes, but you yes. could have no revelation of what yes. it means to be sinless. That's so good. That's, well, so this so is basically, this is for those that are dealing with that guilt, shame, and condemnation. If you yes. are dealing with guilt, shame, and condemnation, then you do not truly know who you are rooted in. And that is That's dangerous, so dangerous good. ground. That's dangerous. That's so ground. good. And he's just like waking a lot of people up, man. Like, you know, it's this, the Lord showed me that it's going to be this hunger, this hunger for him. And they, even the ones like, watch this, the ones that's in the new age, right? The ones that's doing the new age stuff, they're really hungry for Christ. Yeah, that's all it is. They, they just, they was turned off by the spirit of religion. 
you know, the spirit of the religious people with no demonstration of power yep. and things of that nature. So they drifted off into a world that it's they so represent. They, 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 they seen some people representing some strange fire, some strange power. And, they, and they're turned in and intrigued by that. Mm. But in most situations, like when we go out to evangelize, when I run across these new age people, they are good mm. people. They are nice people, but they just they're searching. They're, yep, even yep, when they're yep. in new age, they're searching, they're searching, they're searching. So we need people who we need a remnant that's going to rise up and demonstrate that power of God. And I believe once that continuously starts to happen from just kind of like how it's happening right now, you see with the TSNL movement, the core group, you see Prophet Lovey, you see people like that, like it's it's rising, Mike, you see uh, Isaiah, you know what I'm saying? Like you see so many people. So it's like, as that continued to be the main staple of Christianity, I believe that, (laughs) and the Lord showed me this like maybe a year ago, he showed me, he he said, look at this grapevine. It was like a picture in my spirit of Mm. a grapevine. He said, how can that be fruitful if it's dry, if there's no grapes on it? You know, so he's, he's all about the fruit. That's deep. Let me me roll (laughs) off that. (laughs) If you picture a vine like right now, just picture it, and uh, it's a, it's attached to the root, it's attached right. to the tree, it is grafted in, but it produces no fruit. No Ooh. fruit. What no does the fruit. Bible say? You're rooted in me. You're grafted into me. Yes, but you have no fruit. What has happened when you that tree produces no fruit? It is cut My off God. and thrown into cut the fire. Off. <laughs> And then that's like, why, I, I, like, I, 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 I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you good. You good. You good. But, but then I was gonna say, it takes the right seeds. It takes yes. the right seeds. If a person, if one seed lands, I'm gonna say it this way. It's an analogy. If one blackberry seed lands mm. in fertile ground in your backyard by next summer, you're going to have more than thirty bushes mm. of blackberries. Mm. So it's like. Once you sow that right seed from the right place, from the right heart position and the right purified vessel, that's so man, good. it just, it reproduces itself. Like that's it so just, and, and that's why he rides the prophets and apostles and stuff to bring direction. Cause mm. it's going to happen. It's going to multiply. It's got to happen. It's God's word. Mm. So it's just, it's just awesome, man. Hey, I, I don't know what you think about this, uh, Maurice, but, uh, we, I think these these podcasts are going to be random. Um, oh yeah, I, I don't think. I mean, we want to do. We want to dedicate one day of the week, so we're constantly feeding you guys. But as you know, me and me and Prophet Maurice, Maurice we travel a lot, yeah. so sometimes we might not be able to do it Thursdays because usually, like, if we're let's say we have a revival Thursday through Monday, we're full. So th- y'all stay tuned. Keep your notifications on. If you go to uh prof, if you go to Maurice Myrick on uh on Facebook, you can find him there. Turn your notifications on. Mine is the Cross of Christ too, or uh one whichever. Yeah, y'all know. I have so many uh, social media. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna re- yeah. we're gonna record this too, guys. You know, we're gonna keep it recorded and place it on social media sites and stuff because yeah. it may be sometimes the Holy Spirit just get the flowing and flowing. You guys may have to, you know, revert back and take some notes and things of that nature. You know, as the Holy Spirit speaks, and I, I agree. I believe it's just gonna be random, and um, that's kind of like how I did with my Facebook page. Like when I first started going live, at first I was like trying to. Like, oh, I'm going to do every Monday, Tuesday, or I'm going to do this, this, this. Then the Holy Spirit showed me. He's like, no, you're going to do it when I tell you to do it, Mm. you know? (laughs) So it was like a check. Like, he checked me, you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay, Holy Ghost. But I noticed when I just yield to that and just say, okay, I'm going to do whenever I get that nudge, I'm just going to get on and turn this Mm -hmm. camera on and and just let him flow. Bro, it's so awesome. So I I, I really feel like this is going to be awesome. That's what he wants. Awesome. And I like I, I I'm seeing it. Like you went since you said Sid Roth, the Lord's been forming visions in my head. Like <laughs> I like if you I just see it where uh it's just I can't I hear Lord he, he got my mouth kind of jumbled right now. But <laughs> like I said, 2.0 is there for a reason because we're gonna we're gonna change the culture of where a real podcast is. Yes, we're gonna change the culture of it. Like, no, I, I'm not gonna come on here. If me and Maurice have a disagreement, we're going to do it on the camera. What's the point? Nope. Ain't benefiting anybody. No, nope. but we're going to turn these cameras on and come out here and, and lift the name of Jesus Christ up. Amen. Exactly. 
And that's what that's been my heart, man. It, ever since we seen the video that we seen when we was with Daniel, uh, uh, you know who I'm talking about, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's been my heart. So it's kind of funny how it's full circle to even hear you say that. Like, I'm like, man, yeah. if it could listen, I'm over there. Like, I'm like, if it could be a podcast or an influencer to just do it like the right way with yeah. unity and the whole time, the Lord is like, yep. You and Josiah, <laughs> you guys yeah. are seeing this for a and, reason. And it was so random, you know, Dude, just Sunday after the revival, <laughs> he said, hey, you want to do a podcast on two weeks on Thursday? Yep. All right, let's yep. do it. You know, we just threw our hands up and <laughs> the Lord has provided like with me some equipment. I have a better webcam, a, a, a better mic. Yep. And I got yes. the green screen right behind here. me. Like the Lord just provided it all He's within really two providing. weeks. And that's how you know, like I always tell everyone this, if the Lord tells you to do something and he doesn't provide what is needed to attain what he's telling you to do, then it was not him speaking to you. Let it me tell you the kick apart. Let me, I, I touch and agree with everything just, Evangelist Josiah just said. Let me tell you, even, even the small detail of this, right? And Josiah, you could correct me if I'm wrong. We did not plan to have a black background. <laughs> it just oh, no, happened no both of us just <laughs> got the backgrounds it's like just like you said it just it's little stuff like that that you pay attention to it's like that's confirmation yeah. it just flows the lord just even moving. the type of chair that josiah's in i'm, I'm in, in the, the old school, the old it, school I mean, rocking it, it's, chair you just so probably can't see it because of the camera position but it's similar to that chair i'm just like look at the holy spirit man like this is crazy <laughs> yeah because i mean i, I like it i'm i'm almost tired of the i call them light camera action christians right. where they, <laughs> they want the best quality of course we want it we want to be the spirit of excellence for jesus but mm -hmm. when that is the forefront when all you're thinking about is, is better light quality smoke machines let's have great worship even we want all that but is that the forefront is that a forefront amen absolutely um, you just said a mouthful even with man i just like that, ooh, that just got i just got chills when you said that mm. even with like the churches right like you got some churches that's just like all about the smoke machines and and the good motivational music right mm, like yeah. and it's like no the lord is looking for that like how we was at revival at the tent revival we out there yeah. just like with s'mores and hot dogs just and just having, the intimacy yeah. being I believe jesus is looking for that yeah you know like let's get back to that man and it's just so beautiful because it's yeah. authentic yeah that's the word authentic it, it's not pre-planned it's it's not just Let's say, let's just, oh, these people need it. We, we haven't, we haven't said anything in amount of time. No, we just, it's not about you. It's exactly. not about you. At all. At that's all. what, that's what it was at Lamentations. That's what I haven't read Lamentations in so long because it's, it's a scary book to read when it comes to the author just saying everything is worthless. Yes. Everything is yes. nothing if it's not to raise the name of Jesus up, period. Amen. It's all Amen. going to dust. I talk about this and this struck me and I'm, I want to do a study on this is like, it's all worthless. Right. But why do we gain rewards? We won't Oof. need money in heaven. So what kind of rewards are we going to receive? <laughs> Imagine Yo, that's that. So, that's deep. I never even thought about it that way, but that's, that's, that's yeah. deep. Cause that's many people deep. think, Oh, when I get to heaven, I'm going to have a chest full of gold. What for to roll what around for? in it? I'm not said that drill. <laughs> yeah, and, and and I'm not as honest something because there was a man who had a near death experience and he had the chance to see Abraham and Paul. He said, I did not know who they were until I saw what they were wearing. And I wow. knew they by just by what they were wearing, their rank in heaven. I was like, what? wow. That's what? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's deep. That's deep. Absolutely, bro. Like, I don't know, man. It's so many mysteries of him uh, you know and it's beautiful like he shares with us in part just a little bit mm. here and there a little bit there because i believe man our little mind frames like we, we won't even be able to like compose yep. everything that god has going on so he's got to do it like in spurts here and spurts there yep. and i believe when we get to heaven like we're just gonna be caught up to speed on everything it's just it's just gonna, yep. it's just gonna be supernatural yep. like because we're dealing with the infinite god we're yes. dealing with a god <clears throat> who's ever never ends he had no beginning or end Yes. Yeah, a lot of us think when we get to heaven, our mind's going to be 100% complete. 
We're going to know right. everything. We're going to be exactly who, who we're meant to be. Then what's the point of being in heaven? Just well, right. God, the God does not want robots in heaven. He yeah. wants people who are going to freely They're worship him and enjoy his presence with the other believers. So that like the, 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 the Lord, just imagine riding a horse for the first time. You'll know how to do it. It'll be fun. There'll be no pain. Your butt ain't going to hurt. You'll right. be enjoying it. You're just living in the enjoyment, the reward. That is the reward, is living in the enjoyment of everything uh, Jesus gave us through him. It's just Amen. a beautiful picture to say, I want to take all your pain. I even want to take your eternal punishment and trade mine with yours. Is, is that a good trade? You, you want to do deep. that, my son? You want to do that, my daughter? What? You want to go to hell for me? So I can go to heaven. Think about that, y'all. That's, that, deep. that's deep. That's deep. That is love. <laughs> that's that's like because think about it. And some of you guys might laugh at this. You guys know I'm a little silly, but listen, it's some parents that would not go to hell for their kids. Yeah. On earth. Tell so them. The, you, you see what I'm saying? So just how good, like when you just reflect on just how good Jesus is to us, man, and what he went through. <clears throat> to show us the way ultimately that's why i love man when i'm at work i'm i got my headphones on i'm just listening to the audio bible over and over and over because you can also just learn that way from multiple dimensions of the bible and it's just to reflect on what he does for us man it just that by itself like when you reflect that should that should keep you Mm. in a deliverance lifestyle you should just be like man you know None of this is for me. All of this is for Jesus, you know? So I agree with you, man of God, on that. But think about even our Bible. It's it's so simple yet complex and full of mystery. See, we think God gave us 66 books. Like I said, we're dealing with an infinite God. I've Preach. seen metal disappear in a woman's body. Preach. I don't see that nowhere in the Bible preach (laughs) jesus did so many things that the books of the world would not be able to fulfill it then he goes on to say you will do more and greater preach what come on you hit on something you hit on something because i I, i'm I'm gonna i'm gonna say this just like with that experience that you had right i remember um just maybe three months ago four months ago um so I have this dream. So when I had this dream, uh, I was in a dream and it was kind of, it looked at like church. It looked yeah. like we was at church kind of sort of, but it was like a line. It was a long line, bro. The line was like outside, like stretched outside. So uh, in the dream, uh, uh, somebody, I don't know who it was, but somebody was like, line up over here if you want prayer. Kind of like when we be yeah. at the revivals, like, you know, when, when the uh, forerunners, you know, Marvin knows what I'm talking about, especially at the last uh, conference. My God, we had mm. so many people we yes. had to pray for. <laughs> but it was kind of like that, right? So in this dream, bro, I hear the voice of God and the voice of God was like, take this uh, uh, water, this water bottle, take the water from the water bottle and just start tapping mm. people. So I started doing that and people started, receiving healing people yeah. start falling out in the holy ghost people start uh, uh demons start coming out and things of that nature so i wake up from the dream so when i wake up from the dream i said lord what is this you know i'm checking <laughs> it i'm like what is what is you know water like really like what is you know and the lord's like yeah i'm going to use you in this dimension when mm. it comes to healing and i'm like so then that little voice comes and it's like, oh, they're going to think you're doing witchcraft yeah. and this is and this because you can't find this in the Bible. And, you know, and then it's like, what are we praying for? We're yeah. praying for the secrets of heaven to fall upon us. And then when it does, you just have to walk it out in faith. So I kid you not, man. That's why you guys will see me at revivals and I walk up and I'll be like, here, take it, <laughs> take yeah. it. And then this lady got on my Facebook live she had tumors right she had tumors in her back and i say i mean the holy ghost say use the water so i told her i said hey if you got a water bottle somewhere or a faucet run a little bit of water and just press it on your back i'm gonna pray i'm gonna pray over it so i started praying bro bro the tumors completely disappeared 
Like, I mean, it shot me. Even. I was just like, uh, oh, where do you but see I, this in the Bible, bro? Where do you see right, it? You see what I'm saying? And then I asked the Holy Spirit, I said, well, Holy Spirit, if they ask me, because I know it's going to be some religious people out there mm-hmm. that say, oh, well, this don't line up with, the, you know, like the Pharisees. And the Holy Spirit said, tell them I am created the waters. Ooh. So if I am create the waters and if life is in the waters, I'm the life that's in that's the waters. So good. He says, so when the water touch you, I am is touching you. Oh, that's deep. Bro. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> and think about this, because remember, <laughs> that's why I believe when um, people were being healed by uh, Paul's sweat rag. <sighs> Come that's on. why I believe, because not only is he anointed, but we're dealing with an omnipresent, omnipotent God who's yes. in everything, around everything. He knows everything. Um, so, for instance, Mark and I, last year, we went to Texas and me and mark brought our hotel rags out to the revival (laughs) with us after revival we just start passing around out to the other forerunners daniel walks by and says what's going on over here half the foreigners out on the ground because of little rags from my hotel (laughs) it's the we have to realize it's not the rag it's the faith of that person understanding that god you could touch me through anything it doesn't have to be a human being another thing um one of the forerunners of the Lord, he said, wait a second, I'm about to hand it a rag. And I said, huh? And I look, I, I stepped on something. I looked down, it was a rock. I said, no. Wow. I bit over it. The rock was still in the dirt. You know, when you pick up a rock, you see the kind of dirt, the hole that uh-huh. it's in. It was mm-hmm. one of those. I picked it up, handed it, said, hey, hold this. She said, okay, okay. She held it. I had to run behind her real quick. She fell so quick. A wow. rock, it's a random rock I picked up off the ground. <laughs> God's glory is manifesting in a way that the yes. church ha- has yet to be seen. Yes. And, and, and the thing, crazy thing is, is it's hard for me to understand like, God, why, why did you call me to be a part of it? And he just says simply because you said, here I am, send me. That's, That's all I it. needed. Well, that's all God looks for is a yes. That's it. That matches up everything with what he said to me a few days. Um, um, mm. Josiah, when, when he said, my glory is in the symbol. And the symbol that he's talking about <clears throat> is the yielded ones, the one to just say, Lord, use me. I'm mm-hmm. here, you know, and the Lord is not looking for a person with the perfect pass. He's not looking with a person with the perfect speech. Yeah. You can have a speech impediment. You can have tattoos. You can have long hair. He's listen. He's looking for the ones that's yielded and want to yes. be used, so you know, and that's the key. So that's why he, he, he chose you and he chose everybody else in the studio right now. For such a time like this if you're in this studio right now he's he's chosen you he's Amen. chosen you Amen. so all it takes is just a mustard seed of faith to activate what god already has how to bring it to your 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 mind frame he's got to mm. allow you to see and that's he's going to ask you to do things uh little small stuff to test your faith to just walk out on faith and as you walk it out in faith you're going to yes. see glory like none before people see me evangelist josiah they see me they see evangelist mark they see apostle daniel walking in and gifts and things of that nature prophesying doing things of that nature guys all it is is just faith yeah, that's, that's it i feel like somebody is. needs to just hear faith. that in the studio just faith yeah. man like, and I, yeah mark maurice i'll let you know there there's there's seven watching on on facebook as well and they're writing in the comments wow. and stuff so yeah and you guys what would it come to a point um where if you have any questions Let's do you can start submitting That's your good. questions in. And the next time we go live, we're gonna talk for a little bit. Of course, you want to let the Holy Spirit speak, but then next time Absolutely. we're just we're gonna pray for some people. We yeah, want, like I said, it's gonna be a different podcast, not just gonna be two dudes talking the whole time. We right. want to see people that- touched and set free. Amen. So this That's week, good. if you have any questions, just write them in the chat. Um, hey Maurice, I'll handle Facebook if you want to handle the end the uh the, okay. uh, the audience questions Definitely. if they have that- any. Yeah, Amen. that'll work. So, Definitely. Any questions, just go ahead and write them in because I know my brother, uh, we, hey, we still got to work, so got to make bread. So, oh, yeah, guys, I, unfortunately, it's going to end at six. I, guys, you know, I would be on here for five hours straight. I, <laughs> I got some things I got to do before work and get ready for work. That's why I said but it's, it's going to be random because it's going to be Marie, random. Yeah, though. Maurice could not next work Saturday. We're gonna try to yeah. get, next time, we're going to try to get two hours or three yeah. hours. Yeah, like definitely. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody gets fed, but in the meantime. Um, if the, if those want to sew, um, those are in the live studio audience. You know, you just go go to your Facebook page, my Facebook page, or Maurice's. Anything that's given 
today um will be will be given to each other with yeah. right now we're a little bit separate but the lord said that you gotta start slowly before before you know we're gonna have a whole <laughs> podcast scene we're gonna have a whole cash chat for the reformation for 2.0 and all that so those Bro, that want to give there's ways to give you know, everywhere you know just look us up Josiah, I'm literally just catching visions, bro. Like just with yeah. bro, I just caught a vision with Miss Annette. I ain't gonna say yeah. it like it's just loud, obedience, bro. It's, just, it's obedience. My God. The yeah. Lord begins to speak when we're aligned to the obedience of his will. And this is the hey. thing. Many think about this. If we, many people in, in the ministry that were involved in everything, many yes. people would not be doing this right now simply because they think they're 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 they they need to be cleaned up first. No, yeah. God yeah, is God. The good. Bible says they were healed as they went, meaning yes. as you continue to obey and walk along with Christ, he will heal you, deliver you and Preach. clean you up as you go, as Preach. you go. OK, so now, of course, this, it's not a grace to sin. We know that there is no grace to sin. But you know what I mean? That's just to stay diligent. I see we got so a question. Good. We got a question right there in the in the live audience. Yeah, guys, if you got any questions in the Zoom, go ahead and let me know. Just post it in the comments and we'll get to you. But that's so good what you just said, right, Dr. Zaya. Yeah, just, said, just go ahead and walk it out, guys. Oh, said, oh okay. Yeah, Daisy sent it to me directly. She said, will your podcast be available to download on Spotify or Apple Podcasts? Hey, so, look, hey, Daisy, Daisy prophesied <laughs> right over here. She prophesied, y'all. Hey, man, not yet. Not yet. Um, If any of you guys want to give, uh, you can go to any of my socials. I, I usually have a link tree. Anything you, you guys give, Maurice is going to get 50% of it straight up. Um, I'll tell yeah, you guys just, that. Yeah. Just give it to uh, uh, Evangelist Josiah and he'll send it to my uh, cash out. My cash out is dollar sign TSNL Maurice, but, but I rather you guys give it to Evangelist Josiah and we just, we'll, we'll keep it. It's easier that way. I say it that way. Amen. But yeah, um, so like I said, so what I'm going to do is at the end of this podcast, I'll download them and give them to Maurice and Maurice will post yeah. them on his page. And if you are, if you, if you go to my Facebook page, it's already streaming now. Um, and even if it's, uh, yeah, I haven't asked you this, Maurice, but I'll even post this to the our YouTube, the YouTube page yeah, uh, yeah as yeah, well. Yeah. You know, give, yeah, give a, eyes a, on a, it because I feel that the Holy that Spirit, there. he's excited because we're, we're about the the power of the Holy Spirit changed the game when it comes to podcasts. Uh, imagine, just imagine this vision. Of this, well, I'll give you a little vision of what the Lord showed me <laughs> that I jumped in my words. Just imagine coming onto a podcast in a live audience and you get caught up the crowd said, hey, you need deliverance. So you get delivered right in the middle of a podcast yes. or you get healed in the middle of a podcast. This is yes. the type of thing the Lord is ready. She's about to do. Yes. And they watch this. Daisy. He just said a mouthful, man. Like, like all it is, once again, I believe the lesson of this podcast today, guys, is just being yielded, just saying, Lord, I'm available. Mm. And even listen, I, somebody needs to hear this. Even if you feel a little uncomfortable about wherever it may be, just go, just do it. Cause yeah. God is going to give you the boldness right at that time, right at the precise time. Yes. And it's just going to, it's going to reap a harvest. It's going to be awesome. Amen. You say, yeah, you yeah. guys are going to blow up just like how Isaiah and Daniel started. Wow. I receive. Yeah, I receive. <laughs> Amen. 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 It's any questions, any questions. I'm not seeing any. Um, but yeah, you guys just stay tuned to the social medias and they will yeah. be posted for sure. Amen. 10 live on a on face live on Facebook. So I'm dealing with a lot of people that wow. I've yet to meet. But uh have if, guys, this Amen. is the time 10 more minutes before we got to close down. Is there anything you guys want to ask us? It's like yes, it's straight in the prophet. <laughs> yes. Anything. Nothing's too crazy. Nothing's too crazy. Nothing. I mean, it don't have to be faith-based. If you just want to know about yeah, us, you good. know, just Maybe. ask. Yeah. If it's about us, you know, wherever it is, just you guys could leave it in the comments. <clears throat> and we'll definitely go from there. And answer it to the best of uh, the Holy Spirit provides for us, our ability to answer it. Take us to visit my brother in Macon. I want to Hallelujah. come visit your church. Please do. Yes, Please come on out. Come. come visit. Please. Yeah, definitely. If the Holy Spirit is tugging at your heart like that to come and visit, then do it. Once again, see, see, see that? Be obedient. Yeah. Hmm. That's all it is. Be obedient. Even if you feel a little uncomfortable, just come. Come, come, yeah, come. Yeah, come yeah. as you are. Amen, amen, amen. And guys, you'll love it. You'll love the TSNL Church of Atlanta. Uh, it's really a training ground. And yes, on on uh, Facebook, we do have Zoom links. Uh, I didn't post my Zoom link on 
my page, but I'll do that next time for those that want to join that way. But if you go to my Maurice Myrick, he posted yeah. it on there. Let me see. I would bring my sons. Is there a hotel? Look at this. Look at God. She said, I would bring my sons. Is there a hotel nearby the church with an airport shuttle? Listen, the church is a hotel. <laughs> yeah, we do. We now, do have the conference room. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's a shuttle that goes to the, to the airport, but it's, it's, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Brendan Glean, what's up, my brother? Hey, man, Zeta, say, what's be, up, guys? Will you be yeah. having guests on the podcast as well? Yes, guys. We yes. got some surprises for you guys. We definitely yeah. got some surprises. Yeah. I can't wait That's to get Mark surprise. John on here. It's about to be crazy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Guys, my, my, <laughs> my spirit is excited. My spirit is, is happy. And um, the, the, see, I'm, I'm starting to re realize the tactic of the enemy person on my life is every time I got to do videos or right? every time I'm about to come on live or um or something when it comes to telling the gospel, mm -hmm. the day my, I'm either tired throughout the day, or I don't want to do man, anything, yep. my, my co-workers are being mean, <laughs> I'm like, on. what is going on? I know what it is. Yes. You're trying to stop me. You should, I did it one time. You're trying to make me put a post on Instagram or Facebook and say, I'm not going live today. That's all right, the enemy wants right. me to do. But no, <laughs> no more. You, you ain't get me with that tactic. I'm about to come Dude. on here because I thought this all day, Bump Prophet. I, I was like, I get to go talk about dad again, Abba today. Exactly. I get, God, I get to go talk about you today. That's all I want to do is talk about my God. That's all I want to do. Exactly. Exactly. Spot on. Like always press through, always press through no matter what. And that's for everybody on here. You know, God give you something, press through. Cause that's how the enemy do, you know, like, like just like with the tent revival, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm, I was so excited and I stayed excited, but I heard the enemy's voice. He's like, "That's far. That's too far." And I got to thinking to myself, I'm like, I used to drive like five and six hours to sin. Like, bro, like yeah. you're not gonna run that on me, you know? What I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> like you're not gonna. So <laughs> even when I first started going to the TSNL church. Uh, he was like, he tried that. He's like, it's too far. It's going to wear and tear on your car. He's just like every excuse. I was just like, bro, yeah. I bought the car for it to be wear and tear. Like, you're not going to run that on me, bro. Like, and then if the car wears out, oh, well, I buy another car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, so and just... that's kind of good because <laughs> when I was in college, I had a 1991 Acura Legend. Hey, I'm not complaining. I love that. Thing. That, that was my baby. Right. The thing got you where you needed to go, but it got totaled. <laughs> And then I got a 2015 Chevrolet Malibu. It was cool. It's not. It was kind of small for for my body type, you know. <laughs> but I had it like about two years and get to another accident. And the Lord blessed me with a Jeep Grand Cherokee, another Come one on. better. See, when when the enemy thinks he he can take something from you, oh, this is good. It depends on what you do in the situation. Mm -hmm. I could have been like, Lord, man, you know, I crashed my car, just complaining, complaining, complaining. I was like, I got in that accident. I got out the car and said, all right, Lord, what you going to give me next? Right. There That's you go. what it means to be a child there of God. You, go. you know, daddy got your back. Got you your back. Know. You know. Completely. Completely. I promise you. I promise you. All you got to do, listen, this, this Bible verse has really changed my life. When he says, seek the kingdom first. All right. Be righteous, basically. Be righteous, meaning turn into his ways, turn away from your ways, turn from the flesh. Be righteous as much as possible. Seek him as much as possible. Be in repentance mm -hmm. as much as possible. Live a deliverance lifestyle as much as possible. Have love in your heart. Get rid of pride. So good. Right? As you do this and you continue to seek the kingdom, he's going to provide everything. everything. It's going to get to a point, everything. guys, I'm telling you, you're not going to be like, you're not going to have to be like lord send me a check for my house no mm -hmm. or lord send me this it's gonna come automatically and you're gonna be such in a cheerful state of mind that you could just sow because you know it's yeah. coming like you could just like oh if somebody needs help if the church needs help whatever the case may be you could just give like you yeah. ain't got to give and like like because we stuff. have an, an inheritance y'all as, yes. as children of god and the simple thing is, is people don't know how to access that inheritance. And that inheritance is not only financially, it is spiritually and physically yes. as well. 
you can have you could be 80 years old with the like y'all know art montgomery this dude's 80 Come something on. years old he got the spirit <laughs> of a 20 year old in him yes i love it you see you're dealing with a god who, who knows more than we think he does absolutely absolutely i totally agree with my brother everybody's gonna be blessed mentally physically and financially in the mighty name of jesus, jesus. Now, uh, I'm going to do this for those who want to sow here that are in the, the audience here. Uh, I posted Cash App and Venmo. Those are the only two I'm going to use yeah. for now. If, if you want to use other ways to give, you can just go on either of our pages. Um, I have link tree set up. I know Maurice has some stuff. But, um, yeah, we're going to talk about our testimony soon, guys. This is just the beginning. We don't want to blow it up. We just want to come out here and introduce right. and let you guys know <laughs> this is how we're going to do it. We're going to test run that live studio audience out here. Next time yes. we're going to be praying, we're going to be talking maybe 30 minutes at a time for now on, but we want to let some people come on and get smacked by the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. And, uh, and on Facebook Live, we thank y'all for tuning in. If you're on Facebook, you can send stars. So just sometimes a little cheaper than yeah. actually giving. Um, you can Absolutely. send stars and everything. But yeah, uh, Maurice is, is going to pray us out and then I'll do the Definitely. closing and then but hey, we'll, we'll see y'all soon because we got a lot of stuff right. to <laughs> a lot of holy spirit yeah, a lot of holy spirit coming stuff. up <laughs> amen all right guys so father god in the mighty name of jesus lord i just thank you for completely decreasing me and my brother in christ and completely increasing your presence mm -hmm. and lord i just pray that you continue to uh give us provision on what to speak about each time we do this uh podcast lord you point out the days that you want us to do uh, the podcast as well give us direction mm. give us wisdom give us knowledge and lord i just pray for everybody lord may you bless everybody that took time out to sow financially and took time out to sow their time and to hearing not just from me and josiah evangelist josiah but hearing from the holy spirit that's honorable mm. so lord i pray that you bless their minds their bodies their souls and I pray that you bless them financially. I pray that wherever they sow financially uh, or time-wise, I pray that they receive double portion for that in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I just pray that this continues to spread like wildfire, your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to go ahead and end the live stream for Facebook. For those in the studio audience, we'll say hello or something real quick for you guys as well. But uh, y'all, this is a... Uh, podcast 2.0 and uh yep <laughs> we'll see you next time hey man hallelujah hey, hey. studio audience y'all can unmute say what's up if you want yeah guys we got a few minutes few minutes you can say what's up leave some comments let's uh, uh unmute let us know what you're thinking what you're feeling if not that's okay too it just uh close it down <laughs> <laughs> I see Ten. why I see why Apostle Daniel does it this way now. Like that's I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah, yeah it, it 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 is pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all can't unmute. Oh, oh, oh my bad. My oh, bad. Yeah, I you, got that oh, settings on. <laughs> yeah. Josiah got the uh yeah, the my safety bad. lock. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to say what's up, <laughs> and I'm like, no. <laughs> there you go. You can unmute yourselves, guys. My bad. <laughs> he got the safety right, child lock on. Work. Appreciate it. Yeah, man, of course. That was good of what I got from it. I lost my boss's dog and I had to go chase him through the wood. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so you. much. That was so, so wonderful. You know, I was so blessed by this podcast. Hey, Amen. God bless you both. Yeah. You as awesome. well. Yeah, it's just a trial run, guys. I mean, this is not, it's not like a trial run where we're going to stop. It's a trial run where, Okay, Lord, this is this is definitely what you want us to do because I ain't feel no negative thing in my spirit at all. Oh. I'm just here. The Lord saying, "All right, I want y'all to push forward." And like I said, I know Maurice is. Uh, are you are you are you off of work around the same it's same schedule or is it just random? It'd be random, like it, it'd be where well, it'd be around the same schedule. But some days we start yeah. up earlier, then some days we go a little bit later. So it it, it varies. Yeah. Well, you let me know, and uh, definitely my my schedule is locked in place. And now yeah. next week a little bit different is uh so maurice might just be on here by himself going live um i gotta uh 
I'm going to San Diego next week with with oh, Daniel yeah, and the team and stuff. So, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Hey, we we ain't gonna stop it though, just because nope. we want both ain't here. We go, we gonna keep rolling. So like, if Maurice can't come on, right. we gonna come on here and just keep rolling. Right, you know, and so keep it rolling, absolutely. Yeah, and that'll be we could bring you know, bring and I think that's why the Lord did it, honestly. So, if one yeah. of us aren't here, we still got the time to do it, you know. So, yeah. hey, everyone, I thank y'all for tuning in. I want Maurice to get as much time as he needs to, to get ready for work and stuff. So, amen, amen. God bless each and every one of you. We play a blessing over you for being a part of the audience, and uh, we'll see y'all soon. I know I'll see some of y'all in the chat in a second, but right. love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a good night. All right, guys. Love you guys, man. Take care. And to next time. see you, Maurice. Love y'all. Be safe. Hallelujah.